everybody welcome back to the channel the old bandit is back in the marsh we're gonna be targeting some more flatties today got a new rig to show y'all something that i've never tried before i think it's gonna work really really good i'll show you that in just a few minutes if you like flounder fishing content give my channel a subscribe give the video a like enough talking let me show you this rig we'll get in here and target some platties all right let me go over this rig y'all have seen me throw a tandem rig a double rig in previous videos this is something a little different i do like throwing two baits at one time it does increase your catch ratio but with the tandem rig and the extra weight of the second jig head i can feel that resistance on the bottom it gets hung up a little bit more uh, so i'm trying something different this is a dropper loop i have got tied on i'm using the fish bite brawler on the teaser rig if you will and then my standard tap out dirty boxer on the lead head so i will put a video out in the near future of how to tie this rig very easy to tie and if you've just got the jig head on you don't have to cut it off you can tie that put that hook in and all that without cutting your jig head off but i think that's going to be a really good rig i like the different action of the two baits working together I have got this on a weedless hook setup. I've just got it skin hooked right there on the top. So we're gonna give it a try. This is a good application if you don't really know what color to use. You're trying different colors. Uh, it has rained all morning. This is evening and it has just quit raining, but surprisingly the water clarity still looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go with those two colors. Get in here, see if we can make something happen water temperature has dropped a couple of degrees with all this rain we've been having we're about at a high tide very little tide movement we got pretty good southeast wind blowing blowing about about 10 miles an hour really liking the looks of this rig so far the way it looks in the water looks like it's gonna be money i really despise wind but nothing you can do about it the wind dictates where i fish and where i run my charters most of the time got to get out of that wind so i'm fishing a pretty good sized body of water and i'm fishing the south side of it with this south wind I just saw a flounder get it i just saw a flounder right there attack that bait there we go <laughs> i watched him <laughs> i watched that little guy get it right off that point <laughs> wow it is so cool watching them attack it <laughs> wow right off right off that point right there i tell y'all points and drains and i had that bait right by the boat and i saw that flounder go up and swallow that dirty boxer yes sir look at that little guy sitting on 12 sitting on 12 and a half inches we will be tagging and releasing him today he is a legal fish but y'all know i don't keep them that small all right appreciate the fight little guy get a tag in you real quick thanks for the fight see you, dude all right he wanted the chartreuse he wanted the bottom rig got the old skunk off the boat it was so cool watching that guy attack that bait right off that point i know the camera doesn't do it justice but i could see the bottom and i could see him he swam up there and just nailed it 
<laughs> I love catching these guys. Sorry about the wind noise, y'all. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Got a wind sock on my GoPro. She's blowing. She's blowing about 12, 12, 14 right now. She's picking up. There we go. <laughs> Another one. Got another one. That rascal was swimming off with it. Little guy. Another little guy. He'll be another tag and release fish. And he hit the chartreuse on the bottom. Another 12 and a half inch fish. Get a tag in him. All right, little guy. Thank you for the fight. See you, dude. All right, another one tagged and released. Uh, I know you're seeing a lot of small fish, but what it is in the spring is you have, and especially this year, we have got a bumper crop of one-year-old flounder that's from 12 and a half inches to 14 and a half, 15 inches in there. Plus, you've got all your mature two three four five year old fish that is coming in from offshore in the mix as well so it's really competitive right now those little guys are like on a feeding frenzy so they're more likely to hit your bait than some of the bigger fish right now uh, like i'd said before these one-year-old fish they grow an inch a month so by midsummer you'll have a whole bunch more quality fish but we're still getting some good flounder on our gig and charters because at night right you can be selective you'll go over you know a ton of fish that size and then start picking up your 17 18 even 19 inch fish along in the mix yeah that guy didn't thump it at all he just picked it up and started swimming off with it <laughs> He was on there a while before I really realized it was a flounder. Real subtle bite on that guy. I really am liking this rig. I, you'll be seeing that rig a whole lot more on this channel. Uh, it doesn't have the resistance that a ta tandem rig has dragging those two jig heads. It's light on the retrieve. You can still have a good feel for your baits. And I just really like the action of it all right fish on baby fish on right there right there right off that point there we go got a better fish right there a little bit better fish anyway All right, there we go. Right off that point, y'all know I preach it. Throw to those points. He hit the teaser rig. Come on, get in the boat. All right, the old teaser rig is paying off. little bit better fish right there not a stud by no means but he is 14 and a half inches 14 and a half on the teaser it does pay to tie that rig on i knew i'd catch a fish on that rig 
you can watch that brawler just dart and dive all over the place. 14 and a half inch fish. We are gonna keep him, put him in the box. Man, he completely engulfed <laughs> that brawler. Had it all the way down his throat. All right. First fish in the box. What I like about using that brawler is it's got a hook slot in the bottom side of it. So you can weed, you can rig it weedless like that. All right, flounder number three, and that was a keeper. Let's go. Hey, if y'all are enjoying this video, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Tons of flounder fishing content on the channel, plenty more to come. They're just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger throughout the year. It's gonna be game on. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Let's get back to flounder fishing. Fish those points. Man, I knew that was going to be a good rig. It's got great, great action for both baits. And you don't, you don't feel that added weight that you feel with a tandem rig. That's what I love about it. You can try two different colors, two different types of baits. Y'all gonna see this rig a whole lot more. And because we're fishing real shallow water in the marsh, I've got them real close together, right? If you're fishing deep water, you can spread them out and get them a little bit further apart. But that's just right for this shallow water in the marsh. Got great, great action on those baits. And got another major point coming up right here. I think we're gonna drop in power poles and fish it pretty good. Right there, right there, right there, y'all. I got a flounder on there, right off this point again. Right there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, got another one. I'm telling y'all, fish these points. All right, better fish. All right. Oh yeah, that one's going in the box for sure. I felt him thump it. I felt him thump it right off this point. Boom, let's go. They getting bigger, 17 inch. Good, solid fish right there for sure. Look at that, completely inhaled the old dirty boxer. Man, they love these baits. Look at that, look at that. Man, they love them. Nice and son, nice, nice flounder for the spring for sure. Going in the box. Boom, let's go. Let's go. Man, I'm telling y'all, start fishing these marsh points. That is where they are at. Man, that rascal thumped it too. Just bow and just sit on it. Woo. Man, I love catching these flatties. I knew that was gonna be a good spot. I went ahead and put the poles down. All right, we're fixing to wrap this video up. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already for weekly fishing content along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Thanks for watching. And if you didn't get to see me in the bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, nine o'clock. Thank y'all. See y'all next week.